All right, going to show examples of occult and witchcraft usage of the Talmudic Jewish Star of David. There's no such thing in scripture. The so-called Star of David of Talmudic Judaism is a pagan occult symbol. Why? Because Talmudic Judaism is a bunch of pagan witchcraft. That's all it is. It's a bunch of devil-possessed, anti-Christ, religious witchcraft. Okay? And I'm not being anti-Semitic by saying that. I'm just simply stating what the Bible says. Okay? If you got a problem with that, you got a problem with God's word, not with me, okay? Talmudic Judaism is a bunch of witchcraft. It's a bunch of devil, it, it, it's led by devils, okay? I don't hate Talmud, I don't hate Jewish people. I want to see them get saved, okay? But that doesn't negate the fact that they are a bunch of pagan idolaters, okay? All throughout the, the prophets, you know, read Ezekiel 16, Ezekiel 23, Ezekiel 21, Jeremiah 6, Jeremiah 3, Jeremiah 5, all throughout the, the prophets. They are constantly rebuking Israel for being in pagan idolatry and being in sin. That's what I'm doing right now. No, I'm not a prophet, okay? But there's nothing scripturally wrong with, you know, number one, supporting Israel, but number two, calling them out when they do wicked stuff, okay? That's not anti-Semitic, that's just simply being biblical. And again, if you have a problem with that, you got a problem with God, not with me. You got a problem with God's word. And the Star of David, of so-called Star of David of Talmudic Judaism, is a witchcraft symbol. It comes from the occult. It's got nothing to do with the Old Testament. Why? Because Talmudic Judaism is Babylonian mysticism mixed in with some Old Testament truth. Just like how Roman Catholicism is pagan Greek Roman uh, heathen religion mixed in with the New Testament. It's a hybrid mix. And Talmudic Judaism is a hybrid mix of pagan Babylonian Canaanite Egyptian mysticism with the Old Testament. So, I'm gonna, gonna read two scriptures just to start, start off as my premise, okay, just to give the basis of my premise. Two scriptures, okay, Acts chapter 7, verse 43. Uh, yea, he took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which he made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And Amos chapter 5, verse 26. If you have a King James Bible, turn there. These are just going to be my two verses I'll use as like my, just, just to start off my premise. Amos 5, 26. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chayun, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Okay, both those verses are rebuking Israel for making a star to their God. Because at this time, Israel had been into all kinds of pagan idolatry. They had been into Moloch worship. And they're calling them out on it, just like I'm doing right now. Yes, I support the Jewish people. I want to see them get saved, and I support their right to the land of Israel. But they are a bunch of pagan idolaters. They are they are following pagan witchcraft, and they're not following the Old Testament, the Torah. They're following the, the blasphemous, perverted, filthy Talmud. Okay, and the Talmud is a filthy piece of trash. It blasphemes Jesus Christ. You can call me anti-Semitic. Okay, I'm not an anti-Semite, but I am a critic of Judaism, and I am a critic of the filthy, blasphemous Talmud, because it says all kinds of disgusting stuff about Jesus Christ. Okay, but I'm going to show some pictures of pagan occult usage of this Star of David and pagan occult usage of this six pointed star symbol because it's not uh, unique to Judaism. It goes back way before Talmudic Judaism was started by Satan uh, after the Babylonian captivity. So, here is an example in this photo right here of a Buddhist uh, yantra, what it's called, as a six pointed star. Okay, a six pointed hexagram used in Buddhism. Okay, what is Buddhism? It's Luciferianism. That's simple. It's about becoming your own god. That's Luciferianism. And you got this six-pointed star symbol being used in this Buddhist yantra right here. Okay, not my opinion. There's the fact right there. There's the photos right there for you. The pictures right there. Here's the next picture of a Jain, Jainism yantra. Again, with the six-pointed star. Why? Because they're using it to conjure up devils, or, or they think they're conjuring up spirits. They're actually just devils. You see, the six-pointed star symbol was used by Druidic pagans back in the you know, time around Halloween vessel. So they used that symbol. They carved that symbol with human blood to conjure up devil spirits. This symbol is widespread in witchcraft. Why? You know, why would a symbol that's supposedly a godly, holy symbol be used by witches and heathens to conjure up devils? Because it's not a godly symbol. And Talmudic Judaism is not of the Lord. It's of it's of the devil. But you got this Jainism religion using a six-pointed star symbol. And I may sound a bit fired up right now because this is uh, destroying the nation of Israel. This false re religion is filling up the nation of Israel with sin and idolatry. It's, it's insanity. And someone has to call it out because most of the so-called Christian Zionists... Uh, 
basically they have basically they're pro-israel but in an unscriptural sense they're pro-israel in the sense of they have this blind you know thing they have this blind faith in israel that israel can do no wrong they are always perfect 100 percent of the time well again i support israel i support the right to be there in that land but believe me the nation of israel is far from perfect okay there's all kinds of wicked sin that goes on there okay when I say I support Israel, I'm simply saying my support is simply they have the right to be there in their biblical homeland, and that's it. Okay, I do not support a lot of what goes on there. Okay, I support the right to, for them to be there in that land, and that's it. Okay, but I do not support the Israeli government, which is you know controlled by the Jesuits. They're in line with the Jesuits, the Illuminati, Freemasons, uh, whole other issue, and I do not support all the wicked sin that goes on there too. That's simple. I simply just affirm the right to be there in that land. That's it. But here's another example of the six pointed star on a Freemason lodge. So you got Freemasons using this symbol as well. Again, if this, if this is a godly symbol, why are Buddhists and Jains and other Luciferians like Freemasons using a six pointed star? Because it is a Luciferian Illuminati symbol. It's used by Satanists and witches to conjure up devils. Hence why you have those two verses I read about the star of your god Rimfam and Moloch. Because it's Moloch worship, it's, it's Saturn worship. So you got this Freemason Lodge using this six-pointed star symbol, this occult six-pointed star symbol. Coincidence? I don't think so. Now here's a picture of an Islamic mosque in uh, uh, somewhere, I think it's in the Middle East, using this six-pointed star symbol on, I, th I believe this is one of their tombs, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. You know, why is Islam using this symbol? Well, because they're all the same spirit. It's all Luciferianism. It's all Illuminati witchcraft. It's all of the devil. So you got the Islamic mosque using that same six-pointed star symbol. Now here you got a Hindu temple in Nepal using a six-pointed star symbol on their temple. You know? See, again, it's not original to Judaism. All these Luciferian cults use this symbol. So the Hindu temple in Nepal has that symbol displayed. Here is a uh, temple to the Hindu false god Hanuman using this exact same six-pointed star symbol. Again, coincidence? Nope. They're all of the same spirit. It's the spirit of Antichrist. It's that Luciferian, you know, spirit that is guiding all of them to use the same occult symbol that was used to sacrifice children to, to the god Moloch. Hence why it's called the Star of Moloch. If that's too real for you, you got a problem with God, not with me. Now here is the St. Peter's Basilica, the temple of the Antichrist, the Roman Catholic Church, with the king of the arcane occult master, the Pope, the Black Pope, and his henchmen, the White Pope, using this six-pointed star symbol. Why would the Catholic Church use it? Because they're a bunch of Luciferians, the higher-up ones. Lower-down Catholics, they don't know any better. They just, they're deceived. But the higher-up ones, they're a bunch of Luciferians. They, they all bow down to Satan. They all, you know, you could say kiss his hoofs because they're just a bunch of Luciferians. And all of them are of the same spirit. They're led by the same spirit of Antichrist. And the St. Peter's Basilica is using this exact same occult symbol in their Luciferian temple. So those are just a few examples I wanted to give, a few more examples, showing the occult pagan usage of the Star of David symbol. Because Talmudic Judaism is Luciferianism, plain and simple. And it is not the biblical religion of the Old Testament of the Holy Torah. Okay, biblical Christianity is a fulfillment of the Old Testament Israelite religion. Talmudic Judaism is a perversion of the Old Testament Israelite religion. It came out of the Babylonian captivity. And again, if you're a Talmudic Jew, you are you know, essentially God's chosen people, but you're still on your way to hell because Talmudic Judaism will damn you to hell. Talmudic Judaism is a false way of salvation. And by calling it satanic, it doesn't make you anti-Semitic. It makes you biblical because Jesus Christ rebuked the religion of Judaism and their vain traditions in Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 through 9. And I love the Jewish people. I want to see them get saved. And I support the right to be there in that land. But there's all kinds of wickedness that goes on there. And this star symbol displayed on the Israeli flag, I believe, is leading them to do all these kind of Luciferian acts and Luciferian idolatry in Israel. All the sin that goes on there. Why? Because they're using a satanic symbol on their flag. They're busy putting Luciferian spirits on their national symbol. The symbol of Luciferianism. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Talmudic Judaism is a satanic cult. And, I, you know, you can call me anti-Semitic all you want. You know, by calling me anti-Semitic, you're just simply showing you have a problem with God, not with me. Because I'm just a messenger. I'm just showing you what the Word of God says and what his history shows as well. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.